Effective data visualization should draw attention to certain values in your report. In Excel, there are a number of ways that you can achieve that. One of the ways is to use conditional formatting. Another way would be to use custom number formats. And the third option would be to use charts that are conditional formatted. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can highlight certain data points in your chart without necessarily manually coloring the data points. We are going to look at these two charts. One is a column gra graph and the other one is a line chart. Welcome and follow with me. We start with this data that shows the monthly visitors through JKIA which is one of the airports in Kenya. The number of visitors for the different months. Now if we were to plot this in a chart then we would want to highlight these values then go to insert menu and look for a column chart this 2D then you'll have this chart plotted. From this graph it's very easy to tell that May had the lowest number of visitors while December had the highest but in certain cases it is not apparent which one is the lowest bar or the highest. In that instance we would want to see how do you color this particular bar and say color it red. Maybe show the December one in a different color without necessarily doing what I've done to manually color these bars. So I'll do Ctrl Z twice to undo the action. Then we can go through the steps together. Now for us to show these high and low points dynamically, then we need a series that shows the highest numbers and another series that will show us the lowest numbers. So we'll come up with a series that we shall call max and we shall introduce the if function here to check if this value for January is equivalent to the maximum, so we use the max function, of the numbers from January to December, then we have to lock that, press set for. And if that is the case, then we want to return that value which is equivalent to the maximum, otherwise we don't want to return anything. So we open and close quotes. So when you go to fill, you'll notice that the highest month was December and that's why we have that value. We'll do the same for the minimum. So we do if the value for January is equivalent to the minimum of the values from January to December, remember to lock, then we want to return that value, otherwise show nothing. Then we can autofill downwards and you can see May picks that value because that's the list. We can now include these two series as part of our charts. To include them in our chart, we'll just select the chart, then you can see the selection of our data. So when we rest our cursor at the bottom right of the selection, then we can extend this to include the two extra series. So you can see on the chart now we have two extra series and they are only showing where there is a number. So what follows next is to format this so that we can see May as one bar and December as one bar as well. So we'll right click on this May value and choose format data series. Then you'll have these formatting options that come up. What we need to do here is to tell Excel to overlap the series up to 100%. So you can see now the second series has been shadowed by the minimum and the maximum series. So we can also reduce the gap width to about 100. So it will highlight this maximum and the minimum. So you can go ahead now and select the maximum 
if it's difficult to select the maximum then you can choose from here then you choose maximum or you can choose minimum alternatively if you're working with Excel 2010 and below you can go to format and on the leftmost side of the format menu you can choose the specific series that you want to format then you click on format selection so from the fill we can choose solid fill then we choose we want to show as what color do the same for the minimum series minimum solid fill and choose a different color like that one then we can change these other series to show solid fill but this time round we can choose a faint gray color and there you are you have been able to highlight the maximum and the minimum on this column chart which means if April this time round was the minimum then it would have say something like 2.1 then you can see automatically it shows April as the minimum we will now go through a similar process and plot a line chart so we assume we are starting with these values we go to insert menu and pick this line with markers when it's selected like that we can extend this part of our chart to include the extra series so you'll notice we have the gray one let me add the legend so that you can see what each one means so you can see the blue one is the visitors the orange one is the maximum and the minimum is the gray one and you can notice that because it's a line chart there are some data points which are showing at zero because right now they are zero here we'll have to find a way to tell Excel not to display the data points where we have no values for a chart to do that we'll have to edit our maximum and minimum formulas so we'll highlight this maximum range press F2 to edit and instead of saying we want to return nothing we shall return NA open and close bracket nothing within the brackets for NA so that once there is no value then it should show NA's and you can see immediately the orange part disappeared and you only left with the last data point which was December the highest so we'll do the same thing press F2 to edit change this to NA then you can see now the gray part also disappeared and you all only left with this April value so let's go ahead and edit this chart now to look the way we want so we will right click on the blue line format data series so you'll get the formatting options then you go to the fill and line so you want to make this one solid line you can choose the color of your choice for me i'm choosing black then we go to the markers because we have markers we want to make the solid fill to be white for this then the border solid line it will pick the color you used last which is fine with me then we can reduce the width here so that it's not conspicuous then we open up the marker options here make this one built in and increase this to say seven or so or any other number so following a similar process let's highlight the maximum or the minimum whichever one we choose or you can go to format if you're working with a different version of excel 2010 and below choose maximum once it highlights this one then you can choose format selection on these options here we want to say we don't want to see any line for that 
then we can go to the markers and on the markers we have three options here the marker options the spill and the border let's change the marker options to built in and make this size to be about 10 like that or even 11 that's fine for the solid fill we can choose solid fill make it white then the border let's choose solid line and choose the color of your choice then we can increase its width so that it's more conspicuous to about three like that when it's still selected we can choose to right click and show or add data labels you can see the number is added there select that data label go to this formatting options and let's show it at above like that you can change its color just like any other let's make it the same color with the line that's green sorry you can increase its font size let's follow a similar process and select now the minimum so this is the minimum let's go to the formatting options here and say we don't want a line open up the marker options for the border we choose a solid line this time round let's choose a reddish one for the fill again solid fill let's work with white fine for the marker options built in let's make this 11 as well let's go back to the border and increase the width to about three like that so your chart is coming up slowly and you can see it highlights both the maximum and the minimum let's select the minimum again and add right click choose add data labels select those data labels format them control one to format then we choose to show them below then we can make it bold and change its color to red increase its font size like that can make it 12 okay so your chart now is complete and it highlights the maximum and the minimum points such that if these numbers were to change then this chart will dynamically show that say for instance we had the month of uh, august having 17000 visitors 17.4 then you can see automatically it shows that particular point highlighted similarly if this time round we had um, feb having the list then we can have 1.9 then you can see that is also highlighted dynamically. Finally, you can hide this using conditional formatting or you could select both columns and right click choose hide. Alternatively, you could select the two columns, go to data menu and look for the grouping feature under outline choose group like that so it introduces this grouping feature and therefore you can close them up like that whichever option that you work with the unfortunate thing when you do it using the hide or the grouping is that it doesn't display on the chart so we need to do a little trick so that it shows on the chart so you right click on the chart choose to select data and on this dialog box there is this hidden and empty cells button click on that and tick this option to show data in hidden rows and columns 
So we'll do the same for this other chart. Select data, hidden and empty, show data in hidden, rows and columns. We choose OK. OK friends, that's how you'd go about coloring certain points in your chart dynamically to draw attention. Let me know in the comments below if there is a charting technique that you'd want me to talk about. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe below and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I make new videos like this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.